Hello there, my name is Rohit Kumar and today again with a different journal we are going to discuss some of the insights whether we should choose that particular journal for our publication or not. So today we are going to discuss the ad hoc metrics of LCR. So let's start. So it is the homepage of ad hoc networks and here you can see different uh, uh, detailings like uh, if you want to open the home page you just need to click on this logo of ad hoc networks okay and you will come on to this so here it supports open access means that traditional as well as the open access support is available here and uh, Hmm. If uh, you might be wondering that uh, the standard means the traditional publishing option is not listed down here. So it supports open access. It means that traditional is by default there. If some journal is uh, open access only, then it will be clearly written open access journal or only open access kind of thing. Okay, like in MDPI, you might be uh, having a experience that uh, there it is written open access journal. Okay, let me show you if you want to have a look. Okay, so here it is clearly written an open access journal. Okay, so when you have uh, this sort of uh, it is peer to peer open access journal. Okay, here also it is written. Otherwise, in Google only, you'll find the information here, sensors and open access journal. So I hope the difference is clear. Okay, uh, the journal is open access, then clearly it will be written it's an open access. And if it supports both kind of publishing, I mean then it will be kind of supports open access. Okay, so ad hoc uh, offers a both kind of publishing options. Uh, so here, going with the some of the basic details, I uh, want to have the latest issue, all issues, article in press, etc. Everything is available under articles and issues in about the aim is scope, editorial board, abstracting, indexing, announcements. In publishing, you can have the basic guidelines for the authors, call for paper, open access options, language services options, etc. Okay, you can order it, you can search within this particular journal for your related articles. So for example, I want to search some SDN articles. Okay, so under SDN, here it will be the SDN articles. And then you can uh, apply the search filters and uh, then you can have the intended results. So in this way, you can search uh, and all the results are from ad hoc networks only. Okay, ad hoc networks, ad hoc networks, and uh, similarly, all the articles within because we have searched inside the journal. Okay. Now coming back, uh, it is the guide for authors. And we have discussed multiple time all these services. So no need, no need to go in detail. What is the publication time? So uh, we need to see all the matrices. So here it is the publication time 1.5 weeks, the only metric they have given over here. And uh, the other metrics are here, okay. 4.11, it's an impact factor that is quite powerful. Uh, and uh, site score is 8.6. Here uh, coming down to the editorial board, here is the editorial board full member list. But before going into detail, let's have a look at editor-in-chief. Editor-in-chief is Salil Kanare, University of New South Wales, Sydney. And uh, he's a well-known author of computer networks. Okay, you must have heard of. And uh, there are different article-related information available at the homepage only, where the articles in the press means the kind of uh, early access articles, then the latest published, then top cited, most downloaded, most popular. Okay. So in this way, different categories of the related articles is provided. Then you can search in the call for papers for uh, latest issues and some of the related news and some of the announcements. So, so in this way, what are the latest news? For example, 2022 news is there. So some of the latest guidelines or some kind of uh, other announcements, if they have, then they will put here. So in this way, like you can see that after uh, 1st of December 2021, they have not made any announcement. Okay, and now if you want to see all the announcement, click here and you will get all the information. Okay, so it's a basic article collection. So I hope the basic information is quite uh, normal and uh, coming to the editorial board members. That is important because by having the editorial board members, we will see the representation of different authors or at least the author community from different areas of the world. Okay, so here you can see that uh, he's from New South Wales, Sydney. Then uh, Fatma Abga, 
from uh, the Clemson, South Carolina, and uh, then Monica from Barcelona, Spain, then Kemal, then Mayad, Italy, and uh, uh, Joe Alves, Amid Amari, then Nilesan. So in this way, different Gagan Preet Singh, Pichla, some NRA or Indian, and uh, then Balut, then Susanna, Sandeep Chakrabarti from IIT Kharagpur, then Suchetna Chakrabarti, then Vene Chamola, Thamcheng Cheng Kong. So, okay, a lot more, very long list. Okay, again, 50, 60 editorial board members and people are there. So, you can go and you want to have a look, then you can go and have a deep down look into it. Okay. So in this way, you can search for it. So everything is given over there. Okay, come to the obstructing and indexing. Here you can find the related information. So here again, the most important you need to search for is uh, science citation index, and it is yes, it is listed down in science citation index. So uh, ad hoc network overall is a good journal with a good impact factor and SCI indexing. And uh, what is the Q ranking? So with respect to Q ranking, you need to move to SCI Mago Journal. And here uh, you have the information, a Netherlands journal, and uh, having the two quartals, two sectors, and uh, uh, it's a their publisher having a very good H index of 94. The coverage is from 2003 to 2020, and uh, homepage and uh, the links are provided here. Okay. Coming to the basic scope, okay. So here, uh, this considers the original high quality and published contributions means the ethical guidelines, uh, because your paper should not be a kind of plague or some duplicate copy of already published work. Then the different research interest, but not limited to, okay. Then mobile and wireless ad hoc networks, sensor networks, wireless local and personal networks, home networks, ad hoc networks of autonomous and intelligent systems, Novel architecture for ad hoc sensor networks, self organizing networks, architecture and protocols, transport layer protocols, routing protocols might be the unicast, multicast, geocast, then the medium access control, uh, then error control, then power aware, low power and energy efficient designs, synchronization and scheduling issues, mobility management, mobility tolerant communication. Uh, protocol, then the location tracking and location based services, uh, resources and in management information and uh, the security and fault tolerance issues, hardware and software platforms, so systems are test bed experiments, means all kind of major keywords uh, of uh, ad hoc networks, as well as the low power networks are given over here. Okay, so I think uh, the people who are working in the field of ad hoc network or who are working in the field of low power network might be IoT or the sensor networks. So it's a very good journal for them. Okay, so in this way, you can come down and have a look. There are three quartiles over here, computer networks and communication, hardware and architecture and software. And wonderful thing that uh, since the very start uh, means uh, it's uh, all Q1 and uh, till day it's also Q1. In between it was Q2 for some of the sectors, but still it's really good. Okay, So powerful and impactful performance by the journal. So here, these are the similar journals, wireless networks, computer communications, then computer networks. These three are also very powerful journals. Wireless networks, it's an stranger if I'm not wrong, but these two are elsewhere journals, an international journal of ad hoc and ubiquitous. Okay, then this is the SGR score. It's going down a bit critical, but still, it's uh, good in terms of total number of documents, then citations per documents. It went down suddenly, then now it's going up. And uh, total number of citations and the self-citation gap is quite big. And it is a very good thing because the number of self-citations are very less. Then the external citations uh, is, graph is very good. Okay. And uh, then it's coming uh, the citations per document with respect to four, three, and two years. Okay. So as you can see that the citations per document in last two years is 
above than uh, the average three years or four years uh, benchmark. So in this way, we can say that last two years growth is very good. And uh, it's uh, visible from here, you can see. Okay, in 2018, 2,529 total citations in 19,485 and then 2,621. Okay, so here um, international collaborations uh, on average, then citable documents, non-citable documents, then the cited documents and uncited documents. So quite a big number of documents are cited in 2020, that is 428. It's a very big number and good one. Then ad hoc networks, in short, it's a Q1 journal. You can use it in your work. Okay, means uh, you can go for publishing in this journal. It's a very good journal of elsewhere. And uh, some of the few names means that you can count on fingers. It comes uh, among those, uh, like uh, computer communication, computer networks, uh, uh, feature generation computer systems then uh, general of network and computer applications and ad hoc networks so in this way these four or five journals are very good and uh, if you want to have uh, some more detailing about the information means what kind of uh, topics you should focus on if you are planning to uh, publish in this particular journal then in my opinion means uh, because of the data at my side as i have already told you that if you are working in the field of sensor network or ad hoc network or low power uh, wireless networks that mm, this type of uh, or this particular journal is very good for you then uh, you can focus uh, in some of the key research areas like uh, uh, wireless networks cryptography information theory multimedia computer security artificial neural networks uh, traffic uh, engineering very large scale integration and that is all with respect to the low power and ad hoc networks okay so you can explore all these uh, domains and additionally specifically means uh, in a particular domain what kind of uh, uh, issue you need to pick up so you can have some top uh, kind of uh, keywords uh, with respect to this journal so some of the top keywords are uh, the ad hoc networks wireless networks wireless mesh networks medium access control routing protocols then uh, hopping means uh, the kind of forwarding with respect to forwarding devices then the Internet of Things, Cognitive Radio, Wireless, then uh, Opportunistic Networks, then Network Congestion. So these are some of the very good uh, means uh, top priority keywords with respect to this particular journal. So I hope uh, some of the basic guidelines uh, I have communicated to you and whatever uh, details uh, you need means uh, some more detail if you need, you can comment down below and I will definitely look onto this and make some new additional information videos for you. Okay, now coming to the institutes and the kind of authors which are engaged in publishing in this particular journal. So some of the top institutes which are making their research visible through this journal is the University of California, then Georgia Tech, then French National Center for Scientific Research, University of Ottawa, and National Research Council, University of California, Los Angeles, and then Chinese Academy of Science, French Institute for Research, then the Shanghai Geotong University. Okay, so all these uh, top universities means these are the top universities who publish in this. And I think if you are interested in what uh, kind of different authors means, uh, if you want to have the kind of collaboration, uh, usually people don't have collaboration just by having a look that these type of authors are publishing only in a particular journal, but uh, still if you want to have, because at least you get an idea that if people are publishing in this particular journal, then they have this kind of uh, research focus. And if you are mapping with their research focus, then I can uh, means make a statement that at least you have a uh, overlapping domains. So, so that's why there is a chance that you get a collaboration from those authors. So you might get the author information and uh, usually uh, you can uh, go paper by paper or you can have a general assumption that what kind of authors are publishing more in these type of uh, journals. So specifically, as I have already discussed that uh, the concept of uh, uh, publishing let me show you the concept of publishing with respect to a specific journal comes uh, from the domain where the editorial board members are more so here uh, 
connect to the full editorial board. Okay, here we are not getting the numbers. If we get the total numbers, yes, here actually we are not getting the total number of uh, editor gold members uh, from this particular journal. Otherwise, it is always helpful to get a better insight it means uh, most of the editorial board members from this country so means uh, most of the traffic might be coming from that country and if it is not then it's not always the case as some of the top publishing countries and uh, usually the china india and us these are kind of uh, major countries uh, us uh, because of its scientific advancement that is uh, it has already taken lead into and uh, China and India because of their kind of big research communities. So most of the traffic comes from these two countries. Okay, so in this way, these three, four major countries, but still again, the quality and quantity are two different things. So, so I will not comment that if the major traffic is coming from a particular country, then that particular country is good in research in that particular domain only. Okay, so don't judge any work too quickly and uh, go for your own research, make your own research at your side. Slowly, slowly you learn that how to look into the papers, how to look into the peer groups, how to uh, see the research from a different point of view because uh, the person who does research, he always sees the research is perfect. But from your point of view, there might be some uh, loopholes and uh, then obviously you can find some gaps. So you can uh, make the problems out of those and then you can propose some kind of collaboration with those authors or something like that okay so i think uh, that is sufficient for today for ad hoc networks and if you have any questions please let me know by commenting down below thanks for watching this video thank you so much happy learning